Step 7. Bellows. Coat burnt face of parts 27 and 29 with watery PVA glue and let dry. This seals the wood, making it airtight, as these will be the internal faces of the bellows. You can speed this drying process with a hairdryer. Be careful not to block the air inlet holes. Now, step two, a wedge-shaped tube is cut from a rubber glove as marked in the image to form the bellows skin. So first we cut off all the fingers with a little bit of length left. And we start by cutting, leaving a bit of the middle finger. Now we've got this web cut out, the web between the index and middle finger. And now we have a wedge-shaped wedge tube. Stretch the skin over part 27. Burnt face will be inside the bellows. Thin skin portion along the long straight edge where it acts as a hinge. Now we press on clamp ring 28 down over skin to secure it. The burnt face outwards opposite to part 27. Now slide clamp ring 30 loosely over the skin, burnt face outwards. It will later be pushed up over part 29 to secure the skin. Stretch skin over part 29, burnt face inwards. Hinge edges touching, that's that long edge. Wedge edges about 8 millimeters open. So touching along the long edge and about 8 millimeters gap at the curved edge. And that will open and shut. Now press ring 30 over to secure the skin. Ring 30 must not overlap the short straight edge of 28, as this will interfere with the head's motion. Profiles of each face must align, so it shouldn't be twisted in orientation. And trim the skin flush with 29 and 27 using sharp scissors. We're going to glue onto these faces later, so we want this skin as flush as possible. And then we're going to repeat this process with the other wing in a mirror image. And that is step 7 completed.